I'm Maren Johnston. I'm from Santa Barbara, California. And my, qu my quilt is titled Chard, and that's chard is in Swiss chard, not burnt to the crisp chard. <laughs> and it's quite a departure from the way I, I often design my artwork. Normally I work from sketches, which I combine to form pattern. And this, this was, did not come about that this way. I love to dance and I let music come into my body and I just move. And I wanted to experience the same freedom cutting shapes into fabric that I do uh, dancing. And so I cut and I cut and I moved my body and I tried not to think or to judge what was happening, but my results were quite disappointing. I, after I had everything up on the design wall, there wasn't one piece that I uh, was really excited about, but there was one that I thought, oh, I could, I could work with this. So I started to add, well, first of all, it reminded me of the, um, the cooling tower of a nuclear power plant, <laughs> but I felt like I could add to it and I started to do it and suddenly I did, you know, I was so, so surprised to find it became a leaf. But thinking back on it now, it should not have been that surprising because the series I've been working on for the past four years is inspired by my connection to the land, to farming and to uh, growing our own food. At, at home, we grow our own organic vegetable garden. So the leaves you see here, they're the main attraction. They're what kind of jump out at you when you first look at it. But to me, the more, the softer, more compelling component is the space between the leaves. Because when I walk into my summer vegetable garden and the zinnias are four feet tall and the, and the, the scent of my culinary herbs is wafting through the air and my tomatoes are, heavy and full in their rows. I feel a pulse of energy from my plants. It's almost like vibrant health coming off of my plants. And it's that same pulsing energy that I wanted to portray here between the leaves. So it's my connection to the land that propels my art, that drives my art. But even when I don't consciously plan it, a shape could become a leaf of chard. Good. Why did you choose this medium? I have always worked in fiber and it just was an evolution. Um, I wrote that down in, in those questions that you sent. Um, mm -hmm. Started with having a fleece of wool from New Zealand and, and spinning and just touch. Touch is so important to me. My grandma was a master seamstress. She was always sewing and uh, I just think it was kind of fate. I'm, I'm totally a piecer. This is all pieced together. It's, I take the rotary cutter and make shapes, and then I have to cut another piece that will fit perfectly into that shape so mm -hmm. that it all lies flat. And so that's, it's very challenging and rewarding when you get it right. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it was very difficult to get these, these all are curves and <laughs> going back on each other and then it's curved this way and it's attached to these and then this comes in and it was, a, you know, almost more than I can <laughs> do, but uh, it was so, I, that's how I feel in the garden and I wanted to get that in the piece. 